what's up YouTube this is Gitimus bringing to you another review this time I have the Robot Spirits Gundam Heavy Arms Custom number 142 I'm not sure what that number means I guess it's the product being released and on the front you got some product shots of Heavy Arms as you can do that chest open the Vulcans get the shoulder rockets eyes nice Gundam eye glow product shot on the side of the box product shot on the back of the box showing everything he can do what he comes with for poses stances you can get him into whatever your heart's desire and you can see it's a product shot from the front and get the back bottom of the little warnings in Japanese on the bottom alright that's enough of the box so let's take a look at the figure real quick and here is heavy arms I got him uh, I already got some of the accessories already on him already so as we go through the video I'm gonna probably take some off and demonstrate some of the functionality of getting the accessories on and off of him or what have you so, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off the back real quick just to so this to help with doing the um, articulation and all that so here he is you can see his face very accurate to the um, the anime the face and the whole the whole scope itself very very accurate to the anime and to look through this this bad boy through and through and I see no paint problems at all on him looks awesome looks awesome so glad that I picked this up Nice detailing, nice panel lines and stuff like that. So, so cool. Uh, start getting to some of the accessories. On he does this does come unattached. You do plug it in, and his his arm does have like um, on both sides of his arm that come with him. He has this tab right here. You can plug it plug into his arm. The um, the combat like on either on either arm. I chose this one because this is a more anime accurate hits on this arm. So, so let's get into articulation real quick. Then we can do the accessories in more detail. So, so yeah, head is only um, a ball joint. You can look up um, limited or look up pretty much not it. Oh, there you go. Kind of stiff. Sorry about that. So, goes up about that far. Has a little. Uh, it's on a uh, two-point neck down the bottom part of the neck also articulates along with the, the head itself his on the ball joint the neck is on the ball joint so put up and down what have you you look left and right and the arms do rotate around 360 because they're on a, a ball joint hands do rotate they're on a ball joint also um, rotates at the upper upper bicep does not rotate at the um, elbow but he does have an elbow bend and I had the double joint elbow so very nice bend of the elbow waist articulation he can look and go side it probably can go around 360 but I'm not gonna try I'm not gonna do it because I'm at risk of breaking it oh, sure. There we go. Oh, that's about far to go get hung up. Well, I guess you can. He's got to wiggle it a little bit to get it past certain points. But his body can go around 360. Uh, go forward like that. Go back. Not that far it has a little bit of, of give. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, not the waist, but the abs right there. Upper part of the torso so that is cool oh man another part about the arms the arms are on a they have a hinge on um, shoulder so it can you can rotate the shoulder out like that you can see this hinge right here comes out so hinge them 
get some cross action firing what have you also the other side this side is kind of tight there you go come out came out so you can see that so that is that is awesome right there so now for the legs the legs cam late the uh, skirt armor does articulate you know, individually on ball joints the side the front skirt armor the back skirt armor does not move it's in place static so legs can go out that far you get double joint knee and like that also it can come out at the leg like that that far Rotates up the upper thigh. All right, so the double joint knee, um, foot is articulated. The toe bend down that far. Move it up. Um, the ankle armor is on a, I believe, it's on a ball joint, connected to the upper part of the leg. Oh yeah, and he also has a, a ankle tilting on his foot. <coughs> And for some of the surprises, the guy I already showed you the, um, the combat knife that he attached to it pops out like that. It has a, looks very nice. You got the dull dumbbell gray part right here. Then you got the um, shiny silver right there. So, like that. And he can pop out for his shoulder rockets. It's hard to get these things open. It's not anything really there to grab onto pretty much get focused get focused get right pain in the butt come on There we go. Oh, there you go. It took forever. So these come out. His chest opens up. His chest opens up either than his shoulders. Open up like that all the way. And his legs open up also. So this dude is like on to the teeth. On to the teeth -assist. Accessorize him in various different types of ways. Let's pull the tray out. Tray accessories. Pop that bad boy open real quick. And hands went flying everywhere. So let's close this up. Like I was saying before, well, this is this, this real quick. Got the detailing in there. And that looks awesome. Got the little blue jewel in the center. Got the door for the cockpit right there. Awesome. Alright. Close that up inside the missiles. So cool. And show you, like I was saying, he comes with um, two Gatling guns. Um, when you get them, the Gatling gun is is not attached, so you gotta pull his arm out to, to attach the Gatling gun. Like I just did, he has a fake arm in here. Like on the series, his hand is also he, he just this his whole arm doesn't pop off. Just the Gatling gun is itself then he has the arm still in there but for functionality on this they got like a separate forearm that goes on here so all you gotta do is pop it back in like so you hit click and to when you get it you don't pop the forearm back off then you're gonna plug it 
again. And hit click. And like I was saying, you come with two pairs so you can have it just like um the endless waltz. And the endless waltz on um, heavy arms have got on um, both arms. Have like a total of four of them. I never seen him in the um the regular series on this version of heavy arms have two at the same time on both arm or on um each arm. So uh, forgive me if I'm mistaken or inaccurate on that. I do remember him having the two on one arm when they went back into space, but and, and the shield does come off like that, and he does have like a little tab on his regular forearm that you probably you can pack the shield into. Let's see. First time trying this, I might be wrong. Yep, and it fits, so you can have him have two shields, Gatling gun. And then just pegs back in. Like so. And I was going to show y'all. This accessory. He comes with two of these. And also his um, his backpack does come unattached. You got to attach that afterwards also. Let me pull it out real quick. So, so yeah, you can see it. He has um, thrusters on the top and the bottom. And for like for space use and everything for more maneuverability in space so they also come with a little uh, stand hole right there and it almost comes with an like extender because I guess a, a stand if you're able to get the stand to go, to go with these I don't have any at the moment if you get the stand to go with these you can just, just plug this one into, into that and it gives you more clearance so that you can put the stand in to have him Propped up into a flying pose or whatever, thrusting pose, or whatever. So, pop that back off. So yeah, he comes with these this accessory right here that makes you enables you to attach his spare Gatling gun to his back. So what you're gonna do is just pay take this peg put into the hole on either side with the um the tab part at the top uh on top of the on um, the backpack itself like so and what you're gonna do on the side on both sides of the gatling gun there's a a peg hole you just all you gotta do is just pick it in then you got your heavy arms carrying his a uh, spare gatling gun on his back or I've seen people do the um, just rotate it up forward and have like a, a shoulder cannon, another cannon coming off his back. And this one seems to come off maybe if you do it a different way. Like this. Let's see how that go. Yeah, like that. So yeah, it's up to you. However you want, want to display your heavy arms is up to you. I just leave the um the Gatling gun in the in the box. I just all I need is one. And for most of the movie, for most of the series, all he needed was one also. So I just keep it simple. Keep it simple. He also comes with uh, a variety of hands. He has the um, the open hands. You can see that? Not the focus. Come with the um, the open sprayed hands. One for each side. He also comes with a um, what he has on right now. He has a closed fist on right now, and he also comes with a um, a hand to hold um, a rifle. And as you come with two hands that, can, that are meant to hold rifles. Or if you can, you, well, he can hold beam sabers, but I know that Zex on his on the tall geese's beam sabers, the handles are real narrow, so they fit in here, but they fit in, in there kind of loosely. So I think these are more meant for 
uh, holding a rifle instead of a bean saber. So, well, I mean, I guess it depends on the figure. There's only two, that, two I have right now the tall geese and heavy arm. So, I got the wing zero on pre order for a reissue. So, I'll find out more about that once I get that one in. And that is all of, that is all of the accessories. Fly size comparison and get 2012 Ninja Turtles Leonardo. So he is taller than uh, I guess it's a four inch figure, four inch Ninja Turtle. And here is him besides beside the tall geese. And tall geese is bigger than him, which is on uh, show accurate. Tall geese is bigger than the rest of the Gundams. So yeah. So yeah, I recommend getting this guy if you're a Gundam fan or a fan of Super Robots in general. So I recommend going and get him, picking him up. Um, I got mine from Ani Ani for uh, a great price. Um, you can check out Ani Ani or any other Japanese import store. Um, Big Bad Toy Store also has them, but the, um, the price is a little bit more. But he got shipping, which makes it well makes the overall price pretty a little bit more, like I said. So, so do some shopping around, look around, and make your um, whatever, whatever makes you feel more comfortable in person. Him from, so I do recommend this guy. I had no flaw, no problems at all with it at all. So, all right, stay tuned for more reviews from me. And I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned and check y'all later. Peace.